I've got my 45 Colt here, my EAA Big Boar Bounty Hunter. And in general, I'm really happy with this revolver, but there's a couple things I want to go ahead and do to it. One, I ordered a set of uh, medium strength uh, Wisner Springs from Brownells. And we'll get those springs swapped out. And the other thing I want to do is uh, take a look at this grip here. Now I took the, there's a little screw that comes out of the bottom here. And then these uh, two slightly longer screws come out of here. And this whole grip comes off. And then you're left with the one piece wood grips. And these are a European walnut. And they're a nice piece of wood, but I want to go ahead and add a little bit of... Uh, oil and wax to the top of them. I think I'm, it's going to turn out a little bit nicer. Now what I've got here is I've got some mineral spirits and I've got some uh, tongue oil. And I've done this on my 44 Magnum lever action rifle before and it turned out uh, really nice and so I'm going to try that again on here. Really what I'm doing is I'm taking the mineral spirits and cutting the oil uh, for the initial applications on here so it doesn't bubble up and uh, I'll put some really thinned out oil on here and then I'll uh, I'll reduce the amount of mineral spirits for uh, consecutive applications and so I'll start off probably with some oil that's half oil on half mineral spirits let that dry come back with some and keep reducing the amount of mineral spirits till I'm down to um, just straight tongue oil and then I've got a mixture of one-third beeswax one-third mineral spirits and one-third tongue oil that I'll uh, put over the top of that uh, when I'm when it's all said and done. Now watching that entire process would be the equivalent of watching paint dry and so I won't put you through all that so uh, let me go ahead and cut here get this started and then let's take a look at the springs. All right, let's take off this uh, hammer spring. And loosen it up. Twist it out of there. There's another spring underneath here. You gotta watch these screws. Not all of these were completely tight when I went to take them off. So you notice the EAA Bounty Hunter has a little hole in the bottom of the uh, trigger guard. That's for their uh, silly little trigger lock device. All right, you see this Wisner spring kit came with two of these and that spring sits right in here held in with one screw. And that spring has two arms. One of that is the trigger return spring and the other presses up on this bolt that fits in the cylinder notch here. Do yourself and your firearms a favor and make sure you're using the right bits when you're working on these screws. If you don't have the right tools it's probably best to get the right tools or to take it to someone who does. Alright here's the spring it's in the revolver to, from the factory. Let's get some measurements on this. This back end sixty four and a half thousandths thick. The front end on this thirty two. 32. The Wisner kit came with two separate options here. The thicker one that came with the Wisner kit, 36. And then the thinner one 
Looks like it's about 26. 25. I think at the moment I'll go with the super light. And I can always move up from there depending on how it feels. These three screws, one shorter and two are longer, the shorter one goes in the front. For the mainspring or the hammer spring, Wisner included a note here that says that the replacement spring was made slightly longer uh, than the original to allow them to be installed in about any single action original or clone. The black is what came in the revolver and the silver is what came in the Wisner kit. Sure enough it's a little bit longer. I also say here in the note that uh, There's a heavy duty that's 0 .6, uh, 0 0.062 inches thick with no taper and equals the current Colt spring and the medium is 0.062 thousandths thick and is tapered to 0 0.032 at the top and is the same as the first generation spring. Let's see what came in this revolver. It starts out well, a little thinner than they stated. So EAA or the uh, HWM put a, a spring in here that's 47 and a half thousandths at the back end. Looks like it's the same throughout. And the Wisner spring that came in this kit, 62 and a half. They said 62, so right on. And the front end. 39 and a half. They said it went down to 0 0.032. Uh, either way, it, it does get uh, skinnier as it goes up towards the front. I went to put the replacement spring in, and the hole back here, the screw doesn't quite fit. So it looks like the EAA spring is just, the hole is slightly larger. I'm going to go ahead and put this in and see how that uh, reduced power spring in here feels with the factory hammer spring. I went on ahead and grab, uh, grabbed a drill bit and drilled this hole out so that the screw could fit. As you can see I wasn't watching real close and I get let that get a little warm. Um, but this one is a touch long uh, to fit in there. I need to trim off the end before I can get it in there and I just don't feel like doing that right now. So I'm going to go with the old hammer spring. Uh, I think the reduced power uh, trigger return spring is going to be plenty for now. Let's go back to the grip. I've put uh, several layers of tongue oil on this now. As you can see in here, this is kind of what the whole grip looked like before and so there is a bit of a difference there. It uh, has a little more gloss. I think it brings out some of the color a bit better as well. Uh, and some of the texture in the grain. Now if I didn't mention it before, um, people do something very similar with uh, turpentine instead of mineral spirits and they use uh, boiled linseed oil instead of the tongue oil. But it's very, very similar. Now, this is one-third beeswax, one-third mineral spirits, and one-third tongue oil uh, mixed up together. I melted the beeswax basically in like a double, or double boiler uh, and then mixed the other two ingredients in and let it dry. And I mixed this up over two years ago. This stuff is great on everything. I've used it on axe handles, um, handles for my hammers, tools. I just rub it on there. It uh, makes it a little bit... Uh, tacky, uh, but not bad. It helps preserve it. It's great on lots of wood products. Now what I've got here is a piece of a baby receiving blanket. Um, 
great great option to be Uncle Jim's favorite cleaning rag, old t-shirts. Uh, but just take some of this wax, oil, mineral spirit mixture and uh, and rub it in. Actually, that might be a, a little much to start with. Clean some of that off. Just rub it in. And then just the heat from the friction will help really get that in there. All right, I don't know how well it'll show up on camera, but uh, this side has they both uh, both sides have been oiled, but this side has now had the uh, wax oil mixture rubbed into it. You can see, hopefully on camera, there's a a slight bit more gloss on this side. Um, has a very smooth but uh, not slippery feel to it, and this is a great mixture because. If you ever get a ding or a scratch or you're out in the field and uh, you need to apply a little more, it's easy to throw in a little tin, uh, rub on, and you're protected from the weather and uh, life is good. So, Let me get this other side rubbed on. That side's all done. Both sides are done. It looks quite a bit better than it did, which was very similar to this. So let's get it uh, put back together. There she is. Yeah, the grip feels good. Oh yeah. That trigger now feels like I had hoped it would coming out of the box. Not a hair trigger, but I don't feel like I have to uh, crush it in order for it to go. Alright. This is going to drive me nuts if I don't do it, so... I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this new spring shortened up a little bit and uh, try it out and see how it feels in there. Alright, that new spring, if I'd gone any shorter, might have been too much, but that seems to fit well. Let's get the grip back on and see how that feels. Alright, the grip's back on, it's fully assembled. Yeah. This, uh, the spring in here definitely makes a difference, and this new mainspring back here uh, makes a, a little bit of a difference as well. Assuming this still functions properly, and I believe it will, uh, that was worth the $28 upgrade. And this feels a lot more like I had hoped it would out of the box. Far happier with this now. Well, I think she's ready for the range now. If you do get one of these, go ahead and pick up one of these uh, Wisner spring kits. And go ahead and take the uh, the minute or two with the grinder to, to make that back spring fit. The grips were fine before, but I'm happier with that uh, tongue oil and beeswax uh, finish on there. And I'm ready to get this out to the range. Now that I've got all those uh, large bullets cast up for this, I'm excited to get this out there. So once again, thank you for watching, and God bless. Ha <laughs> ha